Hello and welcome to another book haul. This is going to be a very short book haul. Uh, there's only three books but I bought three books today and I want to show you what they are. So the first book I bought is... Sorry, I have no idea what that was. first book I bought is Zoo. And this is by Graham Marks. And this says, Cam Stewart's had a bad couple of days. He's been kidnapped and chased by the cops. He's had to jump a freight train and he's been shot at by an angry citizen. He's also killed a man. How much worse can it get? It depends what you call worse. When your whole world's falling apart quicker than a cheap t-shirt, what do you do when it looks like you can't even trust your own parents? And then you start to wonder who you really are. This page-turning thriller from the author of Radio Radio and How It Works takes you on a 100 mile an hour breakneck journey at the end of which you have to ask, is it so wrong for parents to want their child to be perfect? And yes, I thought it sounded really good. And um, I started reading it, I only read like a couple of pages, but it's actually quite interesting. So yes, that is Zoo by Graham Marks. And the next book I have is The Beautiful Land by Alan Averro. And this has a beautiful cover. I love this cover. And the spine is really nice as well. And this says, Boy meets girl, boy loses girl. Boy steals a time machine and attempts to save girl and the world from impending annihilation. Taco Leary is a Japanese-American television host who vanished off the grid after a failed suicide attempt. His childhood friend Samira Moheb is an Iranian-American military translator suffering from PTSD as a result of her time in the Iraq War. In love from the moment they met, they are destined to be apart forever. But thanks to a mysterious invention buried deep in the Australian outback, they now have one more chance to get it right. So this sounds really interesting and intriguing. And yeah, it's about a guy who finds a time machine. That's all I know about it really, but I thought this cover was beautiful. And it says the back, it says the spine, and it sounded really interesting. And the third and last book I have is Northanger Abbey by Val McDermid. And I believe Val McDermid is the one who wrote The Wire. So that's really cool. I don't know, she's there on the back. I can't see what it says, but yeah. Um, on the back, it says... Look how gorgeous that is. On the back, it says, It looked like vampire heaven in the images she googled, but would it really be so unnerving in reality? For now, she could only speculate, but before long, she would have the chance to savour every aspect of Northanger Abbey for herself, and she was determined to do just that. No matter how blood-curdling it might be, it will be no match for Cat Morland. And I've heard this is like a reimagining of Jane Austen. It's like Jane Austen with vampires, which sounds awesome. And on the inside it says, 17-year-old Catherine Morland has led a sheltered existence in rural Dorset, a life entirely bereft of the romance and excitement for which she yearns. So when Cat's wealthy neighbours, the Allens, ask her to accompany them to the Edinburgh Festival, she is sure adventure beckons. Edinburgh, sorry, Edinburgh initially offers no such thrills. Susie Allen is obsessed by shopping, Andrew Allen by the fringe. A Highland dance class, though, brings Cat a new acquaintance, Henry Tilney, a pale, dark-eyed gentleman whose family home, Northanger Abbey, sounds perfectly thrilling, and an introduction to Bella Thorpe, who shares her passion for supernatural novels, provides Cat with a like-minded friend. But with Bella comes her brother John an obnoxious banker whose vulgar behaviour seems designed to thwart Cat's growing fondness for Henry. Happily, rescue is at hand. The rigidly formal General Tilney invites her to stay at Northanger with son Henry and daughter Eleanor. Cat's imagination runs riot. An ancient abbey, crumbling turrets, secret chambers, ghosts and Henry. What could be more deliciously romantic? But Cat gets far more than she bargained for in this isolated corner of the Scottish borders. The real world outside the pages of a novel proves to be altogether more disturbing than the imagined world within. I thought it sounded really interesting. And like I said, I think it's um, like a reimagining of Jane Austen, but with vampires. So I thought that sounded really good. And I just love this cover. And the back of it as well is gorgeous. And I haven't looked under the dust jacket yet. Oh, okay. It's just plain, but it has the gold gold writing on the spine yeah 
so that is my book haul for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you read, if you read any of these, please let me know um, in the comments below. Um, yes, and that is that. So I will see you again soon. Goodbye.